listen, you have to stay fired up. I've got to stay fired up on my music production journey. You've got to stay fired up on your music production journey. Every single day, it's got to be the grind. Sometimes in life, stuff happens. Often in life, stuff happens. You have good days and bad days. I have bad days a lot too. And what I do on the bad days is I continue to just put in at least 10 minutes or something like that. I treat music production like exercise, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, um, you know, when you don't want to go to the gym, but you go anyway. That's how I treat music production, because what happens if, if you stop um, producing, like you lose momentum or you lose like the passion for it, you know, for one reason or another, just because like life's got in the way and you've put it on the back burner for too long, or perhaps like, I don't know, maybe you've compared yourself too much with someone else and then you've kind of become demotivated. Whatever it is that the reason is, doesn't really matter. The point is, you've got to stay fired up. So you've got to think about what's that one little thing you can get fired up about today. So anytime that I'm feeling like low or having a bad day, what I do is I just try to at least make like one little patch like on Vital or Faceplant, do a little bit of sound design, you know, because sound design, although it's not making a whole song, it's a bit more digestible and easy and you can like kind of complete the mission of making a sound like relatively easy, easily and quickly. And like even if it wasn't the best sound, maybe like start again, make two or, or like make three sounds until like one of them like sounds fairly decent and all right. Uh, but the point is that you're basically going to make sure that you keep training on your music production every day as if it was like a sport. Because if you do that, then what will happen is you won't ever lose that passion because you won't go for that long extended period of time where you've like put the music on the back burner. And then you can just treat it like kind of like exercise, you know, because anything in life that you like stop doing for too long, it becomes harder to start again. So this is a video for those people right at the back who are like sitting on the back of the fence, kind of like leaning backwards and like ready to like stop, ready to quit, ready to give up on their passion when per per perhaps it's because then they're not like, they have thought that they're not gonna ever be like the most famous DJ in the world. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but if it's your passion, keep it up anyway, because how about the fact that that passion that you've got for music transfers into all other aspects of your life. Like, are you not like a happier, chappy, a happier, go lucky person? Because I know I definitely am when I've like put in some time into my passion amidst all the, all the chaos or amidst what else is going on in the world because it's a chaotic world, of course, that we live in. Sorry if the audio is terrible because it's really windy out here. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a chaotic world and I need just as much as anyone else, peace. And I get a lot of peace when I'm going after my passion, doing what I like, just enjoying the process of creating. So, you know, it's good watching YouTube videos and getting a, some input, and I implore you to do that, but you wanna get that output of 10 minutes a day at like a minimum. So this is my, uh, my warrior call to you to say, don't ever let your passion die out, even on your bad days. What you've got to do, just put in 10 minutes. It's just like going to the gym, you know, as I mentioned in the beginning. When you're like on the road or you, you don't have a gym or, you know, you can't really, you know, use equipment, whatever, like, I'll try to like at least go for a little walk every day or at least like try and do a few, like do 100 push-ups or something. Um, I'll just try to like not ever stop, you know. And you, do, you like taking on the, the process of a whole song, that can be daunting sometimes, but what can you still do that you can be fired up about today? My advice is do some sound design because learning about the micro details in sound design and improving that kind of in a roundabout sense actually like expands itself out uh, in, in, into like a composing a song anyway. It's, it's a weird thing to think about but when you focus really really on the micro details of how a sound is made you're kind of also learning concepts that apply to how a whole song is structured in a sense. There are like similarities in the micro details in sound design that there are in like the macro details of composing a song. So doing a little bit of sound design, it's my favorite thing to do. Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's just because I'm what, what I'm passionate about. But find what you're passionate about with music, going out into nature, recording sounds, something like that. Just find that little thing that you can get passionate about right now and even if it just takes you 10 minutes every day, just do that and you'll keep that flame burning. That's always the idea because the candle can go out if you don't, um, you know, 
fuel it yourself and no one else is going to fuel it for you no one's going to fuel my candle no matter what happens in my life no matter like what what dramas and stuff i'm going through i still have to reach deep from within and and keep the flame going and keep the passion going and so do you and i know that you can do it so whatever it is uh, if you, if you kind of like feel yourself like pulling back a bit you know just find that little one little thing that you can do today that takes 10 minutes gets you fired up something that you love to do in music just do that and just stick to that and just keep doing that and you'll build up that discipline again and you'll get back on the back on the treadmill of the music production journey baby let's go